Okay. Let's speak on it. RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 3, Episode 7. Let me say this. I thought the episode moved a little fast tonight. And it wasn't as drama-filled as last week's when we all witnessed the passion of the De La Christ. But my thoughts on this is, Morgan came back and she was safe. She she played it safe, that's what I mean. You know, because I know a lot of you out there right now are blogging and typing away and, ooh, child, ooh, child, they did Miss Morgan wrong. Ooh, child, she she should have she should have stayed. They should have sent Kennedy home. Uh, no, 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 no. Shangela did the right thing. Because for the simple fact is it's not fair for a girl who had been gone all this time to just pop back in and just jump right into the the end zone. Okay, and that's my opinion about it, okay? But she played it too safe. If she really wanted to be in that top four and go to this end, she should have pulled everything out. She should have brought every trick, everything that was in her. And she looked good tonight. Yes, she did. She looked like Judy Garland from Meet Me in St. Louis with a bit of a slut in her. But she played it too safe. And, and I understand that. There's nothing wrong with that because you never know if that's gonna happen to you, okay? Now, BB, on the other hand, I love BB. I've been watching since the first episode. I was waiting for Drag Race back when RuPaul had had his website and he used to post all songs and his postings about his day and he announced he was doing this show and I thought BB would be the winner on season one from maybe the first or second episode but BB hasn't been the BB I thought she would be I mean in a way no okay so what I mean is BB is is, is regal she's very you know she's she, she has that legendary status of being the first queen so and if you know Africans and there are many here in Texas so anybody can attest and tell you that African people don't overact they don't go all you know, it's not in them to do that. So for her to portray the queen, she was really, if this was a serious role or, you know, it wasn't overacting, she really would have done very well, okay? She should have put it out there. She's getting down to that end line. She knows that it's more than grace. It's more than beauty. It's more than being regal. It's more than, she knows that she has to put her balls out there. I mean, come untucked and shake that stuff out there to those judges. Now, there was not a uh, comment made about certain people or certain queens or people feeling like some queens are above their fans or above other queens. Okay, being a DJ and having worked with, with, with female impersonators, I mean, I have promoted three pageants with the US of A pad, uh, pageant system. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Southern States, uh, Black US of A, and I've also ran a local pageant. I've had a a really successful uh, drag show because back when we started Daddy's Angels, nobody was doing drag shows on not in a not in a major club setting, not on a Saturday night. That was a no no. You didn't interrupt the Saturday night uh, show. I mean, in a uh, Saturday night dance party with no drag show. But we did, and it was very popular. And now to this day, many of the big nights have shows on their party night. And in that time, I've known Kennedy from, you know, from the time when me and her first sat at the bar talking about, you know, her auditioning to be a daddy's angel 
from that point all the way to the time she left Florida to go back to Texas. And uh, she, and be honest with you, a lot of you think she's stuck up and you know, y'all talk all this stuff online about her. Kennedy will give you her last dime. I've seen Kennedy go to VFW halls and work for less than nothing just to make sure those veterans and those people who support the VFW hall get their money. Okay, I don't know many, many girls at all that's gonna give up their coins like that. Okay, I have seen Kennedy sleep on the floor and give her bed to a queen who just came into town and didn't know anybody. She will feed you. She will go out of her way, spend hundreds of dollars and make you the biggest meal where you won't have to be hungry for at least a month, okay? She cares deeply about people, but she's a Texan. First and foremost, she's a Texan. And we here in Texas got certain ways. We will cut our eyes at you. If we smell bullshit, we'll let you know it's bullshit. If we think you're being sneaky, we're gonna watch you. If we feel you being sneaky, we're gonna watch you. And as Texans, we have a way about us that we quit to throw shade and say things, say remarks, but a lot of times it's not being nasty, it's just the way as Texans are, okay? She looked, Kennedy, let me talk to you, baby. You know I'm Team Davenport all of all, all the way, okay? You look gorgeous, okay? <laughs> baby, you look gorgeous, and I've seen you look that good. You were pageant down, okay? And I look forward to the day you become Miss US of A because I still see that dream in you. And I would love for you to become Miss US of A, okay? I've seen that in you from the day that you wanted to become Miss Black US of A. Oh my God, and that, between the both of us, that's a whole story and a movie unto itself. But overall, I know, and a lot of you know, that we see who's gonna maybe come in at the end. Shangela, I'm Team Shangela also. <laughs> and I, I'm telling all of you right now, her pop culture references kill the hell out of me. She will throw a pop culture reference at you, make your head spin like that, and you go, who, who is she talking about? Like she did about Natalie and Bruglia, and Bruglia and Torn. Every time, every time she speaks, I see why they love her. And the producers are always going back to her or Kennedy for these, these off-camera interviews. They love them. I mean, it's just their way. It's their Texas way. It's their who they are. That's what makes them fun. You know, I've been watching Drag Race since day one. And even I couldn't remember who Organa was. But Kennedy, you did go there with the Mimi thing. But, you know, you hey, sometimes when you're talking and you, you're not thinking, you had, you know, there's other things going on. So I really see that the end race is going to probably be depending on what happens next week. Shangela taking that crown, okay? I love you, Kennedy. You know I do, but I got to, if I'm gonna be a betting man, I gotta put that money down on Shan, okay? And I know she will be one of the best queens ever, okay? And that's my opinion, okay? Also, before I even end this, since I am speaking on it, RuPaul, Ruko Music, as a DJ, as a fan of yours, and being a fan ever since you put out Supermodel. Okay, I love the last couple of albums and the uh, remix and the EPs, but sister, why is it just download only? No CDs. Okay, I'm old school, I'm 46 years old, baby. Okay, not that I'm not with it. I had to download. I've downloaded the last, you know, couple of albums, uh, you know, the Cover Girls and, 
your new album and you know which I really love you know love freaky money I've downloaded the singles for peanut butter and everything which is still in my workout playlist it reminds me I think I better get back to the gym anyway uh, RuPaul Ruko World of Wonder whoever is distributing I'm sure I know it's just RuPaul and Ruko records or music I need you to just to, to bring some hard copies for Big Daddy. And you got a lot of older fans out there like myself who really would like hard copies. Cause yeah, we we can do the download thing, we can do the streaming thing, but we we want we want hard copy. You know, I'm a fan. I even have the 12 inch single for what you see is what you get that you did on the Adams Family soundtrack. Okay, so basic. Please give me some hard copy music, Rue. You know, if if I gotta do a if I gotta do a campaign where I can get people together like they did for Prince and Prince's fans do it, where they're doing a fan to fair fan to fan thing where they're putting the money together to getting the stuff printed. I, if I gotta do that, I'll I'll do it. I'll start a campaign where me and your fans who want all of your music on CD or vinyl, yes, I, I, I have your album on vinyl, sister. I'll, I'll take that. You know, if I gotta pay, I'll pay, <clears throat> okay? But all in all, I look forward to next week. Like I said, I think Shangela is gonna take this crown in the end. Kennedy, I love you. You've done well, despite with some of these backbiting nasty online comments that have been made about you if they really knew you if they really knew you they wouldn't say half of the stuff they say about you or any of these girls all right because that's what it is people who are on the other side of the screens they get that internet bravery they wouldn't dare step up in front of you you know, because like they say, fools who step up get beat down. So, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Come back next time because I got something to talk about. But also I do cooking videos and I have music clips. All right. So, until my next video or until my next rant, how at a player when you see him in the street, baby? Look good, feel gorgeous, all right?